destroy an expired car seat with me today. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm a CPST. Let's talk about why car seats expire and what to do with them once they are expired. My amazing husband actually brought this home. He found it on the side of the road this weekend. It is expired and honestly, it is really disgusting. So I'm actually going to glove up while I'm doing this. Okay, so why do car seats expire anyway? So there's three main reasons for this. Number one is that the parts and materials can degrade and wear out over time and with that heavy use. So the materials may not perform to the best of their ability in a crash once a seat is past its expiration date. Number two is that a car seat may get discontinued where the manufacturer doesn't make it anymore. So you may not be able to get replacement parts for it if you need them and that means you may not be able to use the seat safely. Um, the last is that our safety standards are constantly getting better. They are changing based on new information. As we get that information, those standards get updated and an expired seat may not meet our current safety standards. A great example of that is the um, shield boosters that were popular in the 80s and 90s. We have since learned that those are not a safe plan, so we don't make them anymore, plain and simple. So, when you use a car seat that is in date, it's not expired, that means the materials are going to perform to the best of their ability in a crash. That means it's gonna meet our current federal safety standards, and so it's gonna have the best shot of keeping your child safe in the car. So when you have an expired car seat, what you're going to do is dispose of it in a way that ensures it cannot be reused. So you're going to cut the straps, cut the lower anchors, cut the top tether, cut the crotch buckle, cut pretty much everything you can cut. Um, a lot of people also will take the padding off and cut that too. Basically you are making sure that this seat cannot just be easily picked up and reused. Wow, that is really, really gross. Okay, that would be why we have the gloves over here. Once you have that done, you're going to grab yourself a Sharpie here and you're going to write um, expired, do not use, um, whatever you are going to do to communicate this is expired and we're not going to use it anymore. It is not a safe seat to use. Okay, so we've got all that done. The pads cut up, we're marked all over, we've cut all the straps. Now we're gonna take all of this and just bag it up. And now this is ready to be put out with the trash and nobody can just come along and pick it up as is, like my husband did. Now before somebody comes in my comments and says, well, what about for a family in financial need? Isn't that expired seat better than nothing? Please remember that all kids, regardless of their family's economic status, deserve a safe seat. There are assistance programs available in all 50 states to help get safe new seats to families in financial need. There are legitimate safety concerns with using an expired seat and all kids deserve a safe ride. Examples of places to look for help if you or someone you know are in that situation include state and local safe kids coalitions or automotive safety programs, hospital injury prevention programs, other community organizations like WIC offices or health departments may have information about resources in your area. You may also find other community organizations like a pregnancy resource center that offer car seats to families in need. I hope that information helps somebody out today. When you do have an expired car seat on your hands, make sure you're cutting the straps and disposing of it in a way that ensures that it can't be picked up and reused by another family for their child because every child deserves a safe seat.